doing bad and being bad, it's important to recognize are two different things. Doing bad things does not automatically by itself mean you are a bad person because remember you're surrounded by seven billion other people I'm one of them and every one of us are doing bad things so again just the fact that you're doing bad things does not make you a bad person what factors separate good people from bad people willingness or sincerity same thing combined with capacity what are you capable of doing and are you willing to do that a parent who abuses his children is doing a very bad thing his ignorance and poor emotional health are not legitimate excuses for the mistreatment of his own innocent children who he's been given a great responsibility and privilege to care for and protect so not only is an abusive parent guilty of mistreating another human being you know it would be bad enough in itself if you're if you're just out abusing a, a person but what are we what people are we particularly talking about in these situations we're talking about people who have specifically the responsibility of caring for and protecting their children from exactly these things so imagine that you're given the responsibility to protect at all costs your children from abuse and harm and what do you do instead you are the abuse and harm do you see how disgusting that is it's kind of like a just an abhorrent disgusting betrayal you know the very people tasked with caring for and protecting the children from these things are the ones literally doing the thing that they're supposed to be protecting them from they're the ones causing the, the, that harm and that abuse it's uh, it's like t totally backwards it, it's a perversion is what it is it's like a perversion of the thing of the way things are supposed to be a total perversion and betrayal you know we just described this parent who's doing a very bad thing by abusing his or her children but does this sort of wrong committed by parents automatically classify them as bad people is my father a bad person uh, specifically because of what he did no he, he's a bad person because of what he's not done since I did the same things that my father did but when I realized what I was doing and I suffered enough consequences what did I do then well I figured out what the root causes of it were and I, and I eliminated those root causes and now I don't treat people like that so it's not just the wrong that a person is you know committing that automatically classifies parents as being bad people committing wrong in itself is not what determines if somebody is a bad person what determines uh, if a person is bad or not is if he or she doesn't care so therefore doesn't use his or her free will to be willing or sincere to use their capacity to identify what is wrong and change it that's that's the defining thing what would be required for a person to use this capacity to change well the first thing we've already talked about sincerity willingness genuineness a genuine willingness to make a totally honest self-examination to care that's what it would require for people to really uh, tap into and take advantage of their capacity to change are there sincere disingenuous people who simply don't care yes there are we th that's free will there are people who purposely choose to do bad and they enjoy it there are bad people in the world this is a lesson I try to teach my daughter all the time because she bless her little heart she likes to think that everybody's just got the best uh, motives and best intentions and everything you and I know that's not true if if I have to hold my father if I have to consider my father as a bad person based simply on what he did as a parent <clears throat> then I would be a bad person too and I know that's not true 
I'm not a bad person. But it's only not true because of how our choices have have differed. He, he has not been willing to analyze himself in, in an honest, genuine, sincere way and say to himself, I really, truly want to see uh, what is allowing me to be abusive to the people I claim to care about, identify those things, and truly fix them, no matter how painful they might be to see and to um, look at and accept are there. On the other hand, I did that work, and it was painful, and it was humbling, and it was brutal, but I was willing to do that. Why? Because I cared. It was something I really cared about. I really cared about not wanting to be the same type of parent that my father was. And uh, then I set my expectations not on what I was able to do or unable to do, but on what my capacity was, what I was capable of doing. That's what uh, distinguishes a good person from a bad person. Do they care for real? You know, and when we t- we're talking about do they care, uh, we're just talking about willingness. Are they willing? And when we're talking about are they willing, we're just talking about are they sincere, genuine. And the principle of capacity versus ability. It's not what we're able to do. That's not the the measurement that we hold ourselves to. That we create our expectations for ourselves and others around. Not what we're able to do. Not what they're able to do. It's what are they capable of doing. Now we're getting somewhere. Now we know what is reasonable and unreasonable as far as expectations go, doesn't it? 